Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich. We've now had some momentum established in this game, but a venue change. The home team has become the visitor, and the visitor is ahead two games to none. Winning is all about confidence, Doc, and when you win the first two games of a playoff series, you have an opportunity in game three, like the visitor here tonight, to really take hold of this series. This is a huge game in the totality of the series. Let's look at the starting netminders. John Gibson, American-born Pittsburgh, spent two years in the U.S. National Team Development Program before spending two seasons with the Kitchener Rangers of the Ontario Hockey League. Great mobility, fills a lot of space at 6'3", 2'10". Carey Price gets the start tonight. Olympic gold NHL All-Rookie team winning his goalie in the NHL and led his team in Hamilton to the American Hockey League Championship. He's learned his trade well. Oshie's star status is known. That's why he gets to start this game. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Embry. This playoff game is underway. Let's it go. Robbery there. Back to Markov. Forks it to Gardner. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Having a heavy shot like that is great, but you got to hit the net. Sends it across the blue line. Deflected off the blocker. Still no shot. Back at the point now. Throws it to Markov. It's tipped. Collected at the boards. Skates out with it. Pass across at the point. Out to the point. Pitch to Huberdo. Great stick save. Score! Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? From a horrible angle, he got just enough of the puck and it ended up beating the goaltender. Gibson's not able to get his glove on that. It beats him low to the glove side. The Condors now have a one goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Pitching it to Henrique. A wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Got it in his own end. Up the wing, making some headway. Long lead pass to Cromwell. Got a free puck now. The Condors, through the neutral zone, glide along. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Gets that one on across. Let's it go. Blocked. What control. Skates to the corner. Pass to the blue line. Puts one on. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Goalie reaches the bench. Score! And this one is tough. Shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the latter and beat the goaltender clean. Price is in good position, Eddie, but as you mentioned, the shot's perfect. I thought he was going to be able to stop this one. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Gains the zone. Swept on to Faxa. Score! Two straight goals! The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go and beat the goaltender clean. Edzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Cleveland's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. 
And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Puck is thrown to Faxa. Shoots one. Grab. That was all positioning right into his glove. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Slid to Jordan Stahl. Gains the zone. In the slot. Wow, he slowed him right down there. The Knights carrying on in their own end. Chip to Carter. Freezes play. Price reads the play very well. It doesn't take much to see that it's an odd man rush, but he finds the puck and makes a stop. You can smell a goal there. Save! Missed the net. Can he clear? And he dumps it in. Right winged to Oshi. Into the end of attack. Good place to shoot from. Snatched up by Oshi. You could almost count that one, but no. The Condors have control of the puck at center ice. Carried to the corner boards by Huberdo. Directing that one to Spurgeon. Up the wing, skating with it now. Can make a play from the corner. Got it at the point. The Knights had their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. The Condors have taken a slashing minor here. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Cleveland's opportunity on the power play is their first of this game. Let's see how they do. Nice face-off work. The Condors shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Let's it go. Score! He's got his second. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. The Condors win the draw. What's next? By number 38, Boone Jenner, assisted by number Near the last minute of the first. The Knights continue on in their own end. And up the wing, he'll keep possession. Thrown in. Collected by Henrique. Taken over again. Oh, bad giveaway there. Twenty minutes have passed. They worked hard in that period. And the deficit at the start of the period will be two. Jenner's marker made this a two-goal lead for his team. Intermission is next. Twenty minutes in the books, twenty minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? The Condors are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they gotta eliminate those turnovers. Middle period has just begun. 
on to Spurgeon. Popped loose because of that hit. Fires! Terrific shot, but a save. Pitching this went to Pasternak. Slid back across from one point to the other. Score! They're back to within one. Gibson's in pretty good position. He just can't react quick enough on the low stick side shot. The Condors are only one goal behind, so they've gotten themselves back into this game. Perhaps they can tie it before the end of the second. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Two guys together with force. A big force. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. And by number 51, Jake Gardner. Time of the goal, 1 minute 47 seconds. And they've won the faceoff. Gets in. What'll he do? Shoots one. And a save. Propelled to Pasternak. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. And offside is called on the play. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Just over three minutes have been skated in the second. The lead has just been cut in half. Let's see if there's a shift in momentum. The Knights got that faceoff win, now what? Jenner's back on the ice. He just hopped over the boards. He's been all over the ice and the score sheet. Score! It's his third goal of the game, a hat trick. necessarily how hard you shoot the puck, but it's the release. What a beautiful forehand shot. As you said, Enzo, that's a terrific deep. The goaltender just can't keep up. Cleveland's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question two here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at them and try and make this three right away? Nicely into the zone. Using the point, he's got it. Say, looking to Jenner, and he gains the zone, and at an angle to Seidenberg, carried to the corner by Nicholas Cronwell. What a reaction save! The goalie makes himself look big. Slaps it, blockered away. Looking for options, pushed off the puck. Pressure now. Trying to go to Jokinen. Loose puck due to the play by Seidenberg. He's got that point pass. Pass attempt to Faxa. Laid on to Cogliano. He lost it, tumbled down to one knee. He's held up against the boards. Passing one off now to Jordan Stahl. Simple play, made well, strong defense. Price holds on, and that'll do it. Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Good help for the centerman. Columbus in control as they travel up the wing. Chooses the corner. And he's held up and pinned. Right near the line. Swatted down. Got that pass off the boards. Good job holding that one in. Slides it to the point. A hammer shot from the point. One into another. If they keep hitting like this, I'm not sure how much they'll have left in the third. Dishes it back. Point to point. Swung back to the point. Point to point. Sends it across the blue line. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Balls his way along. Passed across point to point. Slid to Ponick. Great block save, and he keeps it. 
You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. Defensive zone win. The Knights in possession through center. Terrific determination by Gardner. Moving it to Kuznetsov. Into the attacking end. A shot. Save. Puck covered. Whistle blown. A little over four minutes to be played in the second. The Knights just widened their lead. It's now two. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. And angled to Markov. Nicely received at the point. Chip to Markov. What a shot! Score! The hat trick! It's not really loud in here, but they don't expect that. The defense was a step slow, not able to get in front of that long wrist shot. And so we can't get the blocker up quick enough. The hole up over his stick side shoulder is too big. The puck finds its way in. The Condors have gotten back to within one and we're in the latter stages of the second period. Lots of potential before the horn sounds. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. He takes that point pass. Flipped to the opposite corner. Spurgeon's in his own end, headed toward center. And in flight over the line. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. To Donskoy. Donskoy's passing in this game has been outstanding. He has two assists so far. And so now a penalty will be handed out. The Condor see two up on the board against them for cross-checking. Doc, you can push in the game of hockey, but once you get that stick up, two hands on the stick, that's a penalty. They win it. Shoots one. Got his pad on a changing shot. An outstanding save. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. Stay more than stylish in the ring with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team start priced at just $10. Hurry into our main store as supplies are limited. The Condors are being held in this game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work as we go to break. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Knights have to be pleased with leading this high-scoring affair. But I'm sure their coaching staff has emphasized to them in the intermission that they have to be better defensively. If they are, they have more than enough goals to win this game. Let's it go. Max score! What an impressive goal shorthanded. Just trying to get the puck to the front of the net. He's rewarded with a bad angle goal. Yeah, and so those are the most fun goals to score, aren't they? Up over the goalie's glove side. Make you feel like you've made a pretty perfect shot. They've got the draw. Moved along and in. A shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. Carter's got a minor penalty here for interference. You cannot stop his progress in this particular play. You have to allow him the ability to be able to move up the ice interference. 
Both teams are short a man, more real estate per guy. Good job on the draw. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Oh, and he is drilled. Weber's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the... Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Now it's directed to Pasternak. To Kuznetsov. Gets in. What'll he do? Held up against the boards. Gathered in by Oshie. Oh, that, that was in the net! What happened? There's the old adage, get it to the net. You never know what can happen. This goes off the goaltender and in. The Condors have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. And they take that neutral zone faceoff. Knocked down to a knee, he lost it. Puck settled down by Oshi. Strong defensive play. The Condors control the play in their own end. Good defensive work there. Snapping a pass to Huberdo. Blocked away. It's an onside play. Mark Luce now picked up. Pitching it to Cromwell. Got it all. Oh, the hands are quicker than the glove. Great save. Larkin's point streak is getting notoriety around the league. When you're on a hot streak that lasts this long, everybody notices. Everybody wonders when it's going to end. Big face-off win. Gains the blue line. On to Larkin. To the point it comes. The Knights organizing back in their own end. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. The Knights are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. The penalty killers did their job there, but you can't keep taking penalties in a third period. Sticked away. He covers and holds on. Good face-off win. And the puck gathered in by Henry. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. He's in on an onside play. Propelled to Jenner. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Nice little lead to Cromwell. Pass to the blue line. Markov lugging it in his own end, headed northward. The poke check worked. Corralled by Cromwell. Laid on to Gardner. A good stick there, so no complete pass. He gains the zone. And he's held up. Knocked it away with the stick. Slid to Kuznetsov. Let's it go. Great glove save. Now that's a quick glove. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Jenner's been able to slice and dice his way through the defense most of the night. Three goals, excellent shots, a prominent player this evening. He has been spectacular, Ray. Good clean win. The Knights have possession through the neutral zone. And he's hammered. That's what you call a wardrobe malfunction. Taking that big hit and losing your helmet. He beat everything but the post. That's great defense. Oh, tremendous hit. That rush is over. Solid neutralized poke check. 
Loose puck regathered by Spurgeon. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Parked in the slot. Seeks the corner. Has that point pass as well. A shot off the glove. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. Hayes closes the gap here quickly, delivers this huge hit shoulder to the chest. Textbook. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Nicely into the zone. Roped in by Shea Weber. Gathered up again by Carter. Cleveland starting from their own zone. Gives it over to the point. Off the goal post. Spurgeon's the guy you want with the puck on his stick as you try to climb back into the game. But his shot hits the pipe and goes away. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Gives it on a cross from the point. A shot! They score! And they've tied the game up! She's skating, got him to the front of the net, and was able to put in that second chance opportunity. Pucks to the net need to be deflected into the corner. Because the goaltender can't do that, the goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound. Over three minutes still left in the third. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Chip to Cogliano. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Around it again. A whistle and a rest. Approaching the final minute in this game. In the third period. This scrum will end soon. Columbus shifting gears back in the defensive zone. Gets across, looks over his options. Ripper, outstanding save with a glove. And they've won that draw. Nice tip of the pass. The Knights continue to probe up the wing. Lofted back in, and that'll get the defense off. And he is reefed. That's a physical brand of hockey. Gives it to the point. Puts one on. Goodrow's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Good body contact. The Goodrow. Dumped in. Puck is thrown to Mata. On to Kuznetsov. Wrist one. Got his stick on it. We had three periods of hockey action, and we come out flat even. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this building. Oshie's goal takes us to overtime. That's where we'll be when we come back. Underway in sudden death overtime. Let's see who gets the winner. 
gets in, looks over his options here. Snapped up by Spurgeon. Points it. Propelled to Carter. Takes that pass from the other point. Back in front. That's a marvelous save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Fires it to the point. Drives it. Just got it at the last moment. At the point with it. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Puck covered, whistle blown. Price able to get across the net to make the stop, save his team, give them a chance to win here as we extend in overtime. Hoisted wide to Spurgeon. Back and forth they go between the points. Back to the blue line to Weber. Oh, that was close. Gardner's got it in his own end, headed towards center. That one is pointed to him. Really good deflection. No harm. Cleveland's lugging it up the wing. Took that wrist shot. He missed the net. Well, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Up the left side to Henrique. To Kuznetsov. Onside. Good quick stick. Taken on by Seidenberg. Cleveland's continuing to probe up the wing. Using the point. Waits from the corner. Lugged along the line. Ranks one. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Shoots. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. Club. Well, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. A little under nine minutes left to go in overtime. It's been a circus atmosphere here today of red lights more than on cop shop. 5-5. Wonderful block. The Knights with possession up the wing. In the slot. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Takes that pass from the other point man. Columbus carrying on up the wing. Laid on to Borowicki. Blockered away. Another save. Big save there. Directing that one to Carter. Gains the zone. Flings it. Wonderful chance to score, but no. They win the draw. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the facing. Connick's strength and power really shows the force of this hit. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Oh, broke it up. Shoots. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the club. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. He's got that pass at the point. 
And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Pitching this one to Palmieri. Near the boards. Gains the zone. In the slot. Good position in the slot. Oh, here's a chance now on the giveaway. Dogged determination there by Shea Weber. Knocked to a knee, lost it. Columbus looking to wheel it up the wing. Shoots it on. Wow, what a glove save. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? Still on the move out of their own end. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Got possession. Columbus wanting to generate something. They'll try up the wing. Looking to Goodrow. Wanting to generate something up the wing. On the outside, a shot. Score! The overtime winner. And the players spill over the boards to celebrate. And the game is over. Terrific out. The Condors lose this one in OT. This will hurt. What an outstanding overtime. And so ends another playoff contest and telecast. We hope you'll be watching for our next one. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.